Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is the Pay 105. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since I last posted a video, but uh I'm gonna kinda change the things up a little bit. Since now this whole pandemic thing's been going on in the real world and people have been staying in more and more. Well, just to keep myself from going crazy from cabin fever. I figure I'd go ahead and keep my hands occupied, and I figure why not go ahead and try to LP a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and do a Let's Play of Resident Evil 3 Nemesis Remake. So if anyone has watched any of my videos in the past, they will know for a fact that when it comes to the RE series, I played the majority of them pretty well, with the exception of one in particular. The original RE3 Nemesis, I probably played about half of it to the clock tower, and I rage quit back in the day on the PS1 because, well, I got tired of getting my ass kicked by Nemesis pretty much. Which now, the original version, there was only two settings easy mode and hard mode. Now, as far as to my understanding, there are three difficulty settings, so, and if I'm not mistaken, by the time they were developing RE2, they also developed RE3 in the later months of it as well, so, it's kind of neat, they were able to release them between a year apart, so it all worked out in the long run, but, I figure I'd go ahead and do an LP of this as well, because, With today's current events going on, I figured I'd go ahead and give it a shot. So, I'm going to go ahead and start off on standard mode. I did run for this a little bit on easy mode. But I only done like the first 10 minutes intro just to get a feel of what I was going to be expecting. And I'll let you know when I get past that 10 minute mark. But other than that, I don't know anything else further beyond the 10 minute mark, so. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and embrace hell on earth. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Angry mobs roaming the city, burning buildings. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked unconscious yesterday. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern regions of the U.S. Commitment, honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. So it looks like we're starting off in first person. All right. So 
Seems to be a nice little studio apartment. Got a nice little investigation board going on here. Apartment's a little bit cramped for my taste, but I assume it'll suit certain people just fine. Good old Jill Valentine. And of course, when I start this, the phone's got the ring, so I'll be right back. If you happen to hear me cough occasion in the background, trust me, I don't have that COVID-19 shit. That's just me coughing on the uh, vape from the my vape machine. So Jill's reports. September 26, 1998. It has already been two months since the mess of Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension of the investigation, I haven't progressed. The investigation hasn't progressed exactly as I hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I found will provide to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected with the virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be commutable via several different avenues. Outlines below. Bite from an infected individual among the mixings of bodily fluids contracted with crows which have eaten infected kirin, which is the material that's made from bone, marrow, fingernails, hair, tissue, shit like that. And due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It is unclear whether it is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends. As for me, aside from a minor difficulty sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still. I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. <sighs> well, there is a few viruses out there that do have long incubation periods, such as the current virus that we're dealing with now, the COVID strain 19. Apparently, for most people, the average infection incubation period is somewhere between 12 to 14 days which means you could be spreading that shit before you even start showing symptoms and that's not good so let's see uh, what else is there any other notes here we go unsealed envelope they got me pinned down at home Guys across the street watching me from the window 
They are are they Iron Man umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. I'll let choice of words, Jill. But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed or whatever they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I enclose my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know, as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night, five days. Wish me luck. I wouldn't wait five days. I grabbed the bare essentials, grab all the cash I can get, and GTFO. That's what I would do. That's just me. I don't need furniture to move. A message from a colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, y'all shot. How you holding up? Still can't believe the iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to pick, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. <clears throat> Word has it you're planning on leaving the Raccoon City. I figure you wouldn't take the suspension line down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by and wait. F won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. And this was a note from Brad Vickers. Stars Alpha Team. Now and forever. P.S. I had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large Mega Meat Supreme. It's on me and the boys. Not much toppings on there for a Mega Meat Supreme. Who in their right minds leaves the water running while they're resting and sleeping? September 28th, 807 p.m. Reckham City. Look at that. In the original one, I think Jill's model was wearing a tube top and a black skirt. Hello? Jill, are you, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my. Ah! Oh shit! <sighs> okay, time to go. Let's go. Let's move. Oh god. That was Nemesis! And he is super strong! He's super bulky! Time to go, time to go, time to leave! Gotta get out of here! And for those who are not familiar with the lore, 
Nemesis is one of the uh, tyrant class monsters. I put it this way. He'll make the T-103s and the original T-1 and T-0 look like a joke. Because he's faster and stronger than the other models. And he has an advanced prototype nemesis parasite giving him orders from via Umbrella's communications data bank from the Red Queen. And he's super fast. Imagine she's hurting right now. Still? Over here. Red. You okay? What was that thing? Damned if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. So fast. I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like arcing on steroids. Hey! Hey, wait! Down here! God damn it! Could be dreaming. How could this many people be infected? Brad! Here they come! That is not a sturdy barricade. Rest in peace, Brad. Sorry. All right, I got enough ammunition. I gotta go. Rules engagement are pretty much the basic as they were in the other playthroughs. Police officer, I'm here to help. 
As you wish. Ah, oh, shit. Got zombies on the right side, and I got Cerberus dogs in behind me. Dodge mechanic worked. to this chopper. Ah, oh, shit. And this is the mark where I only got that far. So this is new territory for me from this point on. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. Never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? 
No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. BCS for sure. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? We're just here to help you. What's wrong with Umbrella? What's wrong with Umbrella? Oh, my God. Your company is responsible for infecting everyone. Yeah. I don't know anything about all that. You don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on, it's this way. Oh, he's gonna worry about being chased for a little bit. Very little references. The captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name. She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS Platoon Leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead, or correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side. Not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Joe. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Shit, Captain. They really took a chunk out of you. Nothing that I did miss. That's one tough son of a bitch. Then again, most people from Russia are always tough. Alright. So, I need to find a way to get the train powered up and moving. Dino bites. So tasty, they might go extinct. Red and yellow. And I noticed they got these little nod poster movie things to give notice to the uh, the mid '90s movie collection posters that happened back in the day. Let's see, where am I going to go? Looks like I got to hit. Need to go to the other side. Nope. Oh, 
I go here. Okay. Yeah, we're good. UBCS Emma Crafting Guide. On the battlefield, if you run out of ammo, your gun, your gun's belt is useful as a wet fart. Want to stay alive out there? Then get this basic formula into your skull. Handgun ammo, two regular gunpowder, shotgun ammo, gunpowder, and a high grade gunpowder. Mag ammo, two high grade gun Okay. Once you stock up, you can get out there and join the party. Let's give them dead motherfuckers something to eat. Just make sure you don't become dessert. Yeah, I love the writing in this damn thing. <coughs> cut off. Uh, let's see. Anything interesting what about here? Tabloid front page. Cannibal murders. A complete digest. In the gray of the morning of September 25th, a f all right. Uh, my grandfather's calling me right quick. I'll be right back, guys.